Wow. Whew. Okay. We have integral from 2 to 4 of this crazy, crazy expression, square root of natural log of 9 minus x, and realize we have two of them. We have another square root of natural log of 9 minus x, plus square root of natural log of x plus 3 dx. So what do we do? What substitution do we make? Well, realize that primarily we are concerned with 9 minus x. We have another 9 minus x right here and x plus 3. So we are concerned with 9 minus x and x plus 3. And whenever you have a mathematical problem, it, it is advisable to exploit symmetry or create symmetry because having a symmetry usually simplifies the problem and sheds light on the nature of the question. So the natural substitution to make to cause symmetry to occur, to come about, is to let our u be the average to let our u be the average of these two expressions, then we are going to have some symmetric terms of natural log. So why don't we find average of 9 minus x and x plus 3? Well, that's simply 12 over 2 or 6. So we know average is 6, so let's go down 6 from x plus 3 and let our u be x minus 3. Now, by doing so, we have x plus 3 being u plus 6 and 9 minus x being 6 minus u. Let's continue making the substitution. We have our x value going from 2 to 4, so that corresponds with our u value, since u is equal to x minus 3, u value going from negative 1 to 1, another symmetry with respect to 0. That's fantastic. And we have square root of natural log. We know 9 minus x is 6 minus u, over square root of natural log of 6 minus u, plus square root of natural log of u plus 6. And we know du is equal to dx, differentiating this. So we know we have du. Now what do we know? Well, can we make another substitution? Or maybe we can look at the relationships between these two expressions. Or the relationships within the coefficients or terms inside the integrand. And realize we have we have 6 minus u, and we have 6 plus u, and we have u being symmetric with respect to 0. So the natural substitution that you may think of is equal to v equals to negative u, because by making the substitution, now you're going to get 6 plus v, and u plus 6 is going to become 6 minus v. So we have another symmetry going on. So let's make this natural substitution. So we get dv equals to negative du, and our value of v is going to go from 1 to negative 1. And we have square root of natural log of 6 plus v over square root of natural log of 6 plus v plus square root of natural log of 6 minus v dv. And we know dv is equal to negative du, so let's multiply by negative 1. And we know whenever we have negative sign, so we, if we have integral from a to b of negative, of f of x dx, we know this is equal to integral from b to a of positive f of x dx. So we can switch the limits of integration. So let's do so. So we have the same limits of integration. So we have integral from negative 1 to 1 of positive. And instead of writing this in terms of v, I'll just write it in terms of u. If you change every variable in a definite integral, you still have the same area. So we have natural log of 6 plus u, natural log of 6 plus u, and we have natural log of 6 minus u. And this looks, and this looks very, very similar to what we used to have before. In fact, we have the same denominator. We still have square root of natural log of 6 minus u plus square root of natural log of 6 plus u. Just the top has changed. Instead of having natural log of 6 minus u, we have natural log of 6 plus u inside a square root. And let's make sure we know. We are trying to evaluate this integral, i. And we know this integral is also equal to i. And look at something beautiful that happens when we add these up. When we add up this expression and this expression, maybe you're seeing what is going to happen. So when you add up these two, we get 2i. And when you add up this, this integral and this integral, we get we get something we can evaluate right away. Integral from negative 1 to 1 
of square root of natural log of 6 minus u plus square root of natural log of 6 plus u divided by the same thing divided by square root of natural log of 6 plus u plus square root of natural log of 6 minus u du and these cancel out to become 1 and the integral of 1 from negative 1 to 1 is simply 2 so we have the value of our integral that is simply 1 so the value of i or the our integral is simply 1 this question is a great example of how we can exploit symmetry and create symmetry to move ourselves toward the elegant solution